Hi guys, this is Christina with Pildura. As sustainability moves into our everyday life, we're left wondering how can we give back to the environment for all the things that we love to do, like traveling, eating, watching TV, buying fabulous clothes, and more. One initiative people are using today is called carbon offset. Sustainability is full of so many interesting terms and carbon offsetting can be really confusing. So today we're gonna to talk about what it is, how you can get involved and how you can participate in carbon offsetting so you can continue to do all the things in life that you love and not feel bad about doing it. Carbon offsetting is the process of donating to an environmental or social cause that can counterbalance the carbon that you are producing. You may offset your carbon footprint by contributing to investments in renewable energy that aid in the goal of a future of zero emissions. You may also choose to help communities around the world. For example, one native tribe in Washington manages a huge forest on their reservation, which limits the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. This is funded and protected by an oil company, BP, through a cap and trade system in California. So before you decide to take another trip or to ship your next Amazon package, remember that this is contributing to your carbon footprint. So let's be conscious of that and let's consider if we're gonna do it, carbon offsetting, because it's an option. And there's so many available resources where you can carbon offset. So first thing, be on the lookout when you're buying anything online, there's often an option to offset your carbon. So you can just see a little option for this when you're checking out of any sort of like e-commerce or any sort of other website. Maybe you're buying bus tickets, maybe you're buying plane tickets. So oftentimes there's a link or there's a box that you check. Now, if this is not available, then you can take part in an outside source where you can offset your carbon. I recently did this as I traveled to Europe and I really wanted to offset my carbon because I just didn't feel good about traveling all that way in an airplane and not really giving back to the earth. I really enjoyed my travels, but I wanted to make sure that you know my carbon footprint was, was minimized. So some examples of these are Climate Futures and they're developing an app actually that's called One Planet. So this will soon be available and you're gonna be able to use the app and offset your carbon. Some other options are Cool Effect and The Good Traveler, which are mainly utilized to offset your carbon footprint of travel. I recently used a good traveler and it was really easy, breezy, beautiful, smooth. <laughs> it was actually really beautiful and I felt amazing because I was also able to offset my carbon and then I was able to see exactly where the money was going to, like the different projects that they're funding. So it was very transparent in that way as well, which made me feel really happy because I was able to see exactly where my money was going. So in summary of everything we talked about today, carbon offsetting is an amazing way to minimize your ecological footprint. There's many sources out there that can help us do this and you should get into it. So get involved, get into it, have a good time, get back to the planet and minimize your carbon footprint because we're all here together and we want this planet to be around for a very long time, don't we? So I hope you feel like you better understand carbon offsetting and that this video has helped educate you in some way. Thanks so much for watching today and visiting us here at Pildura. Stay tuned for next time. And don't forget to subscribe.